Ito na si Redmi Note 12 series. Guys, this is the most variants na inilabas nila for a series. Guys, tinan nyo to. Meron siyang Redmi Note 12 4G. Meron pa siyang 5G. May Pro 4G, Pro 5G, Pro Plus 5G. Heck, meron pa siyang Explorer Edition. Meron pa siyang Turbo Edition. And guess what? Meron pa siyang Harry Potter Edition. Ang dami, ang dami. Nakaka-confuse pati yung mga pangalan. Hindi mo alam kung ano yung Redmi Note 12 4G 5G. Not unless sasabihin niya, guys. Nasa processor yan. Sabihin sa inyo kung ano yun. So, ito yung kung pinakamurang variant. Si Redmi Note 12 4G Snapdragon 685 processor siya. Which is a slightly overclocked version of the Snapdragon 680 last year. Pero hindi yun yung dahilan kung ba't kayo mag-upgrade ngayon or bibili nito. The Redmi Note 12 marks a big difference in design sa Note series. Nalala nyo ba si Redmi Note 10? 11, magkakamukha na sila. 9, ganito yung tsura. Awkward yung placement ng camera. 7 and 8, magkakamukha lang din. Pangit po yung tsura ng camera natin. But this year, eto na po ang itsura ni Redmi Note 12. It looks like the Xiaomi 12 Lite. Box type, trendy design. Ito yung hinihintay natin lahat, guys. And finally, it has creep down. Dito sa ganitong variant. Sa mga medyo mas mahal na variants na siya nilalagay dati. But finally, as a Xiaomi fan, feeling ko, ito yung hinintay mo. Na bago at mas pogi na ang cellphone nyo. But of course, syempre natin kung okay to. Up it's Beans, and you're watching Unbox Diaries. Woohoo! Here's the box. Look at that. Mukhang iPhone, no? It definitely looks like the iPhone sa harapan. Ito po yung tsura ng box. Simple lang yung box ni Xiaomi. By the way, meron siyang 8128. Ayan po, 8128 po yun na sa ating ngayon. Ice blue yung color. And we've got here the small box. Redmi by Xiaomi. SIM ejector pin. Wow, ang dami. Uy, dalawang plastic. Tatlong papeles. Warranty card. Quick start guide. At safety information guide. Kailangan yan. Tinatay na binabasa yan eh. And of course, yung jelly case na may sarili siyang plastic. Boom. So ito na. Okay. Gently now. Pag nakita nyo yung likod nito, naku. Whoa! Whoa! Oh man, man. Finally, isang pogi na Redmi Note series. Ang less pogi ng itsura sa previous years. Ang cute pala ng itsura. So, mayroong A-levels kasi yan. Cute, pogi, gorgeous. Hindi, wow. Here is the cardboard. Same 33 watts fast charger. The USB Type-C cable. Nice. Here's the phone. Ooh. Ganda. Na. Wow! Ganda! Look at that back! Pogi mo! Okay, so ito yung ice blue color. Meron pa siya bang dalawang color, no? Meron pa siyang onyx gray and mint green. Ito po yung itsura nila, along with the ice blue color. Pili na lang kayo kung anong gusto nyo. Finally, ito yung hinihintay ko. Xiaomi 12 Lite design on the Redmi Note 12 phone. This is signifying na social na ang design ni Redmi Note 12 series. In comparison, ito po si Redmi Note 11 at si Redmi Note 12 side by side. Ang layo ng difference, guys. Tignan mo naman yan. Curve back si Redmi Note 11 at ganito pa ang kanyang camera module. Sa so Redmi Note 12, ganito na po ang kanyang camera module. Bilog-bilog style na. Mas trendy at mas charismatic na. Yun, mas masarap siya tingnan. Actually, whenever I look at it, no, I would not imagine this to be something like 10K, 9K. By the way, yung price pa ng Redmi Note 11 last year ay 8, 9, 10,000, mga ganun. And feeling ko ganito rin yung price ng Redmi Note 12. Now, at first look, it looks like, that's right, it is based off the shape of an iPhone. Box type design, flat back, flat sides, curved edges. Matte finish yung likod, pero meron siyang parang pag-gradient effect. Kapag tinatama ng ilam, meron siyang parang extra sheen at the back. It's glowing, ayan po. The great thing about the matte finish at the back is that kapag hinawakan mo, wala po siyang fingerprints whatsoever. Which is great kasi parang for me, I don't even need to use the jelly case na kasama sa box. Yung camera module niya is bilog-bilog na. Ayun o. Meron siyang magkasing laking dalawang bilog. At sa right side, meron siyang magkasing laking bilog. Pero mas malit lang. Kaya lang guys, yung isa ay LED flash. Yung isa naman ay camera. So ayun no Tatlo na lang yung camera niya sa likod. Hindi siya yung four cameras of the Redmi Note 11 last year. Does this mean nag-cut cost sila sa camera? Well, in reality, hindi naman pala kailangan talaga yung extra fourth camera. Kahit si iPhone, tatlo lang yung camera. It's just there for marketing. By the way, yung kanyang camera is 50 megapixels na main camera. 8MP ultra-wide angle lens. Yes, may, may ultra-wide pa rin siya. Nice. Yung iba, no? Wala na yung ultra-wide angle lens. And meron siyang 2MP macro lens. Wala na dito yung 
2MP depth sensor na kaya naman niya ng software. Sa harap naman meron selfie camera na 13 megapixels. Actually, I like the shape of the front. Look at the shape of the display. Ang ganda. Mas pinalapad. Wait, ito yung kailangan ko dapat gawin, no? Tingnan natin kung ano yung tsura ko kapag tumatawag ako. Pogi, di ba? Okay. Or kapag nagte-text. Grabe, ganda naman ito. Or kapag naglalaro. Oh. Nakapogi guys. Nakakadagdag pogi points. Pero feeling ko, hindi yung lalaki yung mga entice dito. Yung, yung mga girls. They, they love this kind of design. Kaya sayang wala siyang pink color. Sayang lang. Di ba? <laughs> Missed opportunity. A lot of girls would love a pink color. And... This is, I feel plastic though, hindi siya glass. Feeling ko rin. Yeah, feeling ko talaga. Hindi siya cold to the touch. And the body is also plastic, but hindi siya low quality feeling kasi may ibang phones na ganito yung fresh one guys. Plastic yung nalang body, pero hindi ganito kaganda yung build quality na, yung feeling ha. Hindi siya chippy pie sa kamay. It feels solid. It still feels like a very well-made phone. Oh, by the way, ito pala yung mga ports niya. No? Meron pa siyang headphone jack sa taas. Nice. This is also high-res audio. 24-bit, 192kHz. Meron pa siyang IR blaster, yung malaki. Ayan. And of course, yung kanyang microphone. Sa right side naman, yung kanyang power button, volume rocker. Sa ilalim, another microphone. USB Type-C port and yung kanyang speaker. I wonder if it's stereo. At sa left side, yung kanyang SIM tray, which is a dual nano SIM card slot plus micro SD card slot for expandability on top of the 128GB of internal storage so madami kang pwedeng install you can take a lot of pictures and videos with this phone but probably the best thing about this phone is its display look at that ang ganda ng shape ang ganda ng brightness last year hindi rin ako na impressed ko ng display although kasi baka sabihin nyo na minor spec bump lang naman yung display which is already an AMOLED 1080p display oh Ganda na nga last year, AMOLED 1080p na nga. Pero dyan po natitapos yung kanyang similarities. Meron po siyang kakaibang, mas malaking display. It is a 6.67 inch 1080p AMOLED display na meron 120Hz refresh rate na up to 1,200 nits of peak brightness. Guys, last year po, si Redmi Note 11 ay only 90Hz refresh rate na display and only 1,000 nits of peak brightness lang. Ngayon, 1,200 na po. Etong si Redmi Note 12. Pero beans, parang 200 nits lang yung difference. Nope. Okay, ito ah. Papakita sa inyo. So sa 50%, no, ito yung tsura niya. Okay, sakto lang. Bump up to 80%, mas lalong gumanda. And at 90%, ito na po yung tsura niya. Okay, parang sakto lang din. Pwedeng pwede na. But once we hit 95 to 100%, nagpop yung display. I mean, nagpop yung color. Ibang klase na yung dating ng mga icons. Yung color na wallpaper ay mas malakas na yung dating. I'm telling you guys, kapag ka minax mo yung kanyang brightness, ang lakas ng dating ng display niya. Akakalain mo, na isa siyang flagship display. Legit, if you go to a Xiaomi store right now, check this out sa kanila mga display. At bagbaguhin nyo yung kanyang brightness, i-max nyo, guys. Gantang-ganda ako sa display niya. Mga mangha kayo. It's also very smooth. And sobrang na-appreciate ko yung mas wide na display. I always think na 6.7 inches yung pinaka-okay na size for a phone. Well, your mileage may differ. Kasi yung ba dyan, parang mas gusto mas maliit, mas compact. Ako guys, gusto yung mas malaking display. Siyempre gamer kasi ako. Gusto ko mas marami akong pwede makita sa game. Mas kita-kita yung mapa. Ayoko yung siksik yung aking kamay sa, sa display. Ayoko yung siksik guys yung parang kasi nga maliit yung display. Eh, malaking kamay ko tinatakpan niyo yung display mismo. This one will give you a lot more screen real estate when you're playing games. Also, syempre my favorite, favorite platform, YouTube. It doesn't have HDR10, so hindi lumalabas yung HDR settings dito. But look at that. Oh, ang ganda. Ang ganda. Ah, uh, nabablown away ako sa display. Look at that. Ah, uh, wow. I, I think I need to compare with my iPhone. Parang feeling ko kaya niyan talunin sa iPhone. In terms of image, hindi, seryoso, seryoso, wait lang, ito na. Okay, so sinetap namin to, na full brightness sila at the same time. And sa YouTube, ayan po, same na 1080p, 60 frames per second. Ito na po, play na natin. And look at that. Wow, uh, nakita niyo may difference guys. Mas maganda ang contrast ni Redmi Note 12 kaysa sa iPhone ko. Look at this picture right here, you know. Mas detailed po yung frog dito sa Redmi Note 12. Oh my God. <laughs> seryoso, seryoso, seryoso. Uh, you know, makita naman na iPhone yan eh. Dynamic Island, you know. Woo! 
napakalapit guys pero ang lakas ng dating ang lakas ng dating ng display ni Redmi Note 12 it's doing some extra work in the background although sayang wala siyang 1440p or 4K but yes I don't think kaya ng processor niya pero it's able to do this kind of quality for the price I think this is the best display under 10K and nobody is even marketing this as something like that no wow wow nabablown away ako nabablown away ako tignan yun no 80,000 versus 10,000 dito kitang kita mo so ayaw maniwala ng aking videographer kasi mo mamaya na 45 nagpapaganda si Redmi Note 12 na ano siya, nabablown away din siya. Parang, what? Crazy guys, crazy. This is simply crazy. Oh, by the way, so yung test kanina, no? hindi siya yung parang the peak brightness na makita nyo sa phone. Kasi nga, low light siya. Uh, hindi nag-kick in yung HDR para i-peak brightness siya. So, both yun for the phones. Pero kapag inalabas mo to sa sunlight, of course, dun mag-kick in yung kanyang 1,200 nits ito. And of course, yung iPhone, 2,000 nits yun. Siyempre, matatalo to sa, sa labas. Ganun ka lakas yung brightness ng iPhone sa labas, guys. So, it's, it's going to be much more usable. Pero, for me, for the price, 1,200 nits. Naku. Kung nasa labas ka, no? At meron kang shade, magiging mas usable na siya ngayon. So we also tried playing games on this like Mobile Legends. Grabe, ang ganda ng graphics. Especially kapag minamax mo yung kanyang brightness, talagang doon nagpapop yung kanyang graphics. I always tell you this, no? Kapag nanggaling kasi isang IPS LCD display, ito yung parang the biggest jump I've seen kasi ang tindi ng display ni Redmi Note 12 compared sa mga ibang uh, brands. Parang sobrang ganda ng graphics when I'm playing Mobile Legends here. Also, watching movies is going to be a treat here. Everything is going to be a treat. Everything looks beautiful on this display. Ano ba ito? MIUI 14 na siya. MIUI 14? Yes. 14.04 yung ating version dito. Baka magkaroon tayo ng full review nito in the future, discussing even the MIUI 14 interface and features. But for now, I want to know kung gano'n siya kabilis itong Snapdragon 680 processor. Let's check it out. 320,000 points. It's, it's okay na. Okay na. I mean, ang problema kasi, grabe yung competition. No? Meron tayong mga 9,000, 10,000 pesos na phones na mabot ng 400, 500,000 points sa uh, Antutu. Kaya this is nothing to brag about. But so far, no? Uh, it's able to play 1080p video. No problem. Smooth naman siya sa interface. Actually, super smooth. Thanks to that 120Hz refresh rate display. Kahit sa Facebook, ang smooth tingnan ng movement up and down like this. Kaya lang, speaking of smooth, tingnan natin sa Mobile Legends kung smooth pa talaga siya. Here are the settings pala, no? Uy! Meron siyang ultra graphics right out of the box. Kaya lang, high refresh rate lang siya. So, hindi mo siya totally matitake advantage yung kanyang high refresh display. Feeling ko dapat nag-high graphics nalang sila. And super refresh rate. Para somewhat magamit man nila yung kanyang high refresh rate display, di ba? Sa mobile legends, ito ba yung itsura niya? Wala po siyang lag. Ah... Uh, hindi siya bumabagal even at ultra graphics. Kahit po marami ang nangyayari sa screen, wala pong problema siya sa Mobile Legends. Yun nga lang, uh, feeling ko talaga, it would have been better if it had super refresh rate at least. Para, syempre, sayang naman. It is something new kasi, no? Kapag, uh, baka in the future, feeling ko baka maglagay sila ng super refresh rate dito kasi hindi pa naman siya nalalunch while I'm reviewing this right now. And yes, look at that display. Malaki po siya. Ang dami kong pwede makita dito sa Mobile Legends. It is a treat to play here. So, if you're coming from a Redmi Note 10, Redmi Note 11, malaki po yung difference niya. Dahil po sa kanyang much wider, much bigger display, this is going to be an advantage for you as a gamer. So yeah, big plus na rin yung kanyang napakagandang graphics thanks to that beautiful display. So, a combination of good optimization pala to and napakagandang specs. You did the right thing here, Xiaomi. Kaya lang, kamusta naman siya sa Call of Duty. Siyempre, may naglalaro din yan. Yung mga natitira pa ang population dyan na naglalaro pa ng Call of Duty. <laughs> Siyempre kasi, tapos na yung pandemic. Wala nang oras maglaro yung mga tao. Back to school, back to work. But yes, here is Call of Duty. Very high graphics. Meron siya. Nice. Kaya lang, Medium frame rates yung pinakamataas niya for very high graphics. Which makes sense naman. Kung gusto niyo mag-high frame rates, naka-low graphical quality lang. So, ganun pala kalahin yung difference. Akala ko kapag high frame rate siya, baka maging high graphics na lang siya. Pero low ang binigay niya. Why? Since optimized naman siya, wala siyang problema guys sa performance. Smooth naman siya. Kaya lang hindi siya 60 FPS smooth na makita mo lagi. You're going to need the very high frame rate setting para ma-achieve yung 60 FPS. So, feeling ko itong high na to nasa 40 lang. And, kailangan mo pa 
mag-low graphics. So, ayun. So, hopefully, ma-update na in the future, mas ma-optimize pa to get you some better performance. Siyempre, one year sa'yo to, kailangan mas maganda yung kanyang performance. In the long run, aasim pa yung kamay nyo dito and things like that. So, <laughs> next year, i-hype po na naman kayo sa Redmi Note 13, di ba? Ayun. Aasim din to in the future. So, hugas-hugasan na lang lagi para din umasim. Ha? Sa Genshin Impact naman. Okay, so kung Snapdragon 680 last year, hindi niya kaya yung Genshin Impact. Nagko-frame drop siya, naglalag. Mukhang mabagal siya. Mukhang hirap na hirap yung phone. Guys, don't expect too much dito. Ganon din siya. Slightly improved version na naman yung kanyang processor dito. And ganon pa rin ang itsura ng game. There's going to be a lot of stutters. You're not going to enjoy it so much. Kapag ka high graphics siya, siguro low graphics na lang lagi at 30 frames per second para hindi siya uminit. Just stick to my advice para at least kahit pa paano ma-enjoy nyo yung game. Lowest graphics? 30 frames per second. Ayun. Kaya lang ito, yung kanyang camera, this is something na hindi siya ganun kag okay. If you guys were expecting na super mas maganda yung kanyang camera compared to Redmi Note 11 or 10 series, nope. We tested it out. Ito po yung tura niya. Okay, so napansin namin yung kanyang details. Overall image quality is pretty much, you know, average. Decent lang pang mid-range talaga yung dating. It's not going to blow you away. Tapos sa kanyang portrait, ito ba yung tsura. Napansin namin yung kanyang background blur is, yun, artificial. Yung dating, may mga bilog-bilog sa likod. Uh, yung background blur niya, may parang bilog-bilog. Guys, wala po. <laughs> wala pong bilog-bilog sa likod ko. And so, uh, feeling ko, it's adding something at the back. And it's pretty cool, pero hindi po siya natural. <laughs> wala, pagka may araw po, wala pong kat. Sa, sa gabi, siguro. Ayun, pag may mga ilaw sa likod, doon lang lumalabas yung mga bilog-bilog na yan. Tapos, napansin ko rin yung kanyang color ay hindi ganun ka-accurate. Sometimes okay, sometimes in depth. Ito, okay siya. No, yung kanyang pagka-red, lahat ng parts na kanyang damit ay red na tama. Ito yung actual na color niya sa totoong buhay. Pero kapag ito na, boom. Same mode, yung ibang parts na kanyang damit ay parang washed out or sabog yung kanyang pagka-red. But all I can say is, yung kanyang mukha dito ay napakalinis, napaka-okay yung thing. The best feature ni Redmi Note 12, yung mga faces, okay yung kanyang beautification, hindi siya ganun ka-OA. Kung ano yung itsura mo in real life, ganun yung lalabas yung mukha mo dito. Yun nga lang yung skin tone. Again, ayun nga, nagbabago din siya. Depende sa kanyang background, sa scenery. It's not consistent. We're not really sure why. Maybe because in some pictures, medyo mauga yung kamay ko. Mas okay yung kuha niya dahil mas steady. We're not really sure. So yung video niya is 1080p, 30 frames per second. And it looks like ito yung pinakamataas niyang camera. Kaya lang napansin ko is yung kanyang EIS ay masyadong crop. And naka by default na siya. Wala kang magagawa po dito, wala po siyang on and off sa kanyang stabilization. By default, when you're taking videos at the back, too much zoomed in, just like this. Pero pag naglalakad ako ngayon, at kilo malayo. Yan, so, mas smooth po yung uh, walk ko. Pero yun nga, wala kang magagawa. You can't turn it off. Sa 7 naman, that 13MP camera is pretty decent din. Ito yung mga sample pics namin. You're going to look pretty here. Uh, it's got decent beautification. Not too harsh. Not too much. It's just okay. Fresh na fresh yung dating yun dito. Kaya napansi ko, there is a little bit of blurring in some parts. Medyo hindi ganun ka sharp yung dating mga photos. And it's not even the megapixel that's doing this. Ito yung sensor niya, guys. Limited sa ganitong performance yung kanyang picture quality. Ayun. Ayun na nga, pati sa kanyang selfie video ay masyado pa rin malapit sa mukha ko. Sobrang stretch na yung kamay ko yun, ha? Ayun, no? Sobrang stretch na yan, guys. So, ayun lang. Uh, pag nag-vlog kayo, medyo stretch nyo yung kamay nyo ng sobra to see the background pag meron kayong pinag-uusapan. Pero overall, yung kanyang video quality is napaka-okay. I love the the whole look. I don't look OA. And may beautification siya na konti. Ayun lang. Wait for vlogging. Now, kung camera lang naman talaga yung habol nyo, I highly suggest you upgrade to the next, the next best phone na nagka-carry ng medyo maayos na yung camera, which is his Xiaomi 12 Lite. Yun na guys, nasa 20,000 plus kasi yun. You're really going to pay the extra for a really good camera. Ganun ka mahal yung camera guys. Napansin nyo ba guys, na kahit mura lang yung phone na nasa 18,000, flagship yung performance pero basura pa rin yung kanyang camera. Ganun kamahal ang camera. But yes, in terms of performance, display, design, ang hirap talunan nito. Napakaganda po at napakasulit nito para sa akin. Yung display pa lang eh, nadala na ako. Nain love ako sa kanya. I highly recommend it to anyone buying it for the price of only 8,999 pesos only for the 4128. Meron siyang 6128. 
9,999 pesos only. Meron pa siyang 8,128. Kaya lang plus 1K. 10,999 pesos po siya. Alam ko, hindi ganun kalaki yung jump in terms of specs dun sa kanyang spec sheet. Nakita ko eh, parang Snapdragon 685, ganun din siya kanyang uh, fast charging, and yung kanyang battery, 5,000 mAh pa lang kanyang battery, 33 watts fast charging. And yung camera niya, from 48MP to 50MP, at saka tatlo na lang yung kanyang camera, hindi na siya apat. So, but what made it a winner for me is that very beautiful display, very optimized games, and simply ito lang. This is the very, very recent talaga kung ba't mo siya bibilin. Guys, sobrang pangit po ng mga previous versions compared to this, and fresh na fresh po yung amoy niya. Ayan, so asin din siya in the futures. Siyempre, bacteria builds up. Ano yung kaya ka eh? Speaking of build up, check nyo yung aking website. We're building something great there. Check nyo yung aming smartphone tier list kung saan namin nilagay itong si Redmi Note 12. Super sulit ba siya? Maganda na? Or baka sakto lang. Let me know guys in the comments below what you think yung kanyang rank for this phone in our smartphone tier list. And if you wanna see more sulit reviews, sulit unboxing, mag-subscribe ka lang, hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content about the bills and you're watching Unbox Series. Uh -huh.